When we came to Nepal, there was no freedom of religion. So you were not allowed to do religious work or preach or evangelize or anything. There was about uh, four churches in the Kathmandu Valley at that time. There's three of us who founded the Youth of Mission work in Nepal. We've been able to watch it grow from absolutely just a seed of prayer to people getting saved and teams being growing and God has continued to expand it because now Nepal's work is over 400 full-time missionaries and pastors. We knew that our vision was bigger than just Nepal, that it was really for the greater Himalayas and we, we didn't understand that actually it was for even more than the Himalayas but really all of South Asia. We were um kicked out of the country actually two times because of doing Christian work. We spent the first 17 years living in Nepal and then the last 15 years in South India. I was doing a lot of traveling, uh, basically uh, leading groups that were leading hundreds of people. We finally made the decision to, to uh, relocate to the States but we felt that our missions call is for our whole life. And so we, we said, okay, we will go back, but we're still missionaries. Because we have an inheritance in South Asia, now we come back to serve as teachers, to serve, serve as trainers, and our role is really just to encourage this new generation that God, uh, you know, God's hand is on them and that they can do it. It's, it's easy to be the top person or to do everything your way, but really what you want is that people can do it within their culture, in their way, with their resources, are able to, to do the work of the ministry. Our success is watching them be successful, seeing so many that we worked with for decades now who are faithfully serving God and God is using them beyond the way he used us. But it's, you know, it's not because of us, but we think in, in spite of us, we're not very gifted or talented. We were at the right place at the right time, and God was just doing something Faithful, because yeah. he had plans, yeah. and we've been very blessed. Yeah.